Hello everybody, sorry for my voice uh, first of all, but uh, I'm a little bit sick, but uh, I have the chance to have uh, the new oscilloscope from Sigland SDS 5000X with me and uh, I need to shoot this video before uh, I leave for a business trip. <clears throat> so sorry again for my voice, but I will try to make it short, but showing you everything uh, it is interesting about this new scope. As said, this is the new SDS 5000 series. Uh, overall, in the datasheet, you will find six models, bandwidth from 350, 500 megahertz and 1 gigahertz, two and four channel, plus external trigger on the backside. And here we have the access for the logic probe, two USB probe and the reference for calibration. Uh, overall, the prices are already published uh, on our website. You will see there is not a big difference. And uh, overall, we think also with Siglent, the two channel will not be so popular. So even for stock, stock reason, we will have the four channel uh, in, our, uh, in our stock. The unit is connected to a, a signal, a signal generator, which at the moment is generating a signal a uh, signal which is a sine waveform at 50 megahertz just for reference and uh, yeah to make some measurement and uh, some analysis uh, later on as you can notice this is a 10 uh, inch touch screen uh, and the touch screen actually even now uh, at the moment i'm shooting this video i have a beta firmware release is very smooth, never stop. Hopefully, will never stop working well uh, while uh, I'm making this video. So we have the touch screen, as said, and here, beautiful to see, we didn't lose the four control for each channel. So we have channel one, channel two, channel three, channel four. We have the trigger area, the horizontal menu, and the part for the decoding. So you can activate the decode, the digital channel, the math, and from here you can make some adjustment or for example, when you are decoding, you can set the threshold. This part is also interesting. You have the default and the default will set the unit from, uh, from standard and some triggers. So how to, how to set up, uh, run, stop, uh, you can activate or deactivate the touch screen and clear uh, the, the waveforming. In, in the moment, for example, you are making some counting and so on. So let's go straight into the menu. What is really interesting here from the utility, you can make some uh, setup, like for uh, system setting. Uh, you can set up sound, language, screen saver, uh, uh, and other things. Oh, by the way, the unit, uh, you can connect the unit to the Ethernet and through the Ethernet you have the web server application. So you can connect the unit point to point to a computer through LAN or you can connect it to your uh, uh, office LAN and through the IP you, will, you can set up the unit. Then the, the display, you can have normal type vector dots, color grade, you can activate the color grade, you can set the persistence. As you can see, the display is really, is, is really smooth. Then you can clear display, you can set the grid, intensity, backlight, and so on. All these buttons here are also here. So you, as you can see, there is the acquire, display, persistence, trigger, cursor, measure, analysis, math, and so on. So if we go to the menu of the channel one, here you have the short menu, where you can set the vertical sensitivity, you can, oh, this is really cool. You can set course or fine uh, directly from here. Fine adjustment just to have the full resolution. And uh, yeah, you can set up the probe. At the moment, I'm connected to a BNC cable. One pair is fine. Uh, impedance, one mega ohm and 50 ohm. You can say, well, you are connected through BNC you should go to 50 ohm, but actually the signal generator is on IZ mode. So I also have an high impedance on the output of the signal generator. I can set up units, voltage and current, dash view, and I can, of course, I can invert the, the waveform. Uh, so this is for the vertical part. 
If I go to the time base, I also have the possibility to check the time base, the delay, left, right, and acquire menu. On the acquire menu, I can set the acquisition mode, I can set the memory, also very interesting. Early in the video, we spoke about the bandwidth. Uh, the unit has 250, 250 mega points of buffer memory for a uh, pair of channels. So you can have a single, single channel 250 megahertz or two channels uh, 125 megahertz. And on the acquisition, this is also another interesting thing, but uh, uh, I mean, you need to use the unit to understand. Uh, the average and the high resolution in this unit is hardware based, is not software. So you will see the high resolution will not change the, the time of the acquisition. So it is really, really fast. Then we go to the trigger. The trigger, you have a lot of uh, uh, different triggers. So we have edge, slope, pulse, video, windows, interval, drop, drop out, rant, uh, pattern, serial, and qualified. On the serial trigger, we have, uh, uh, you can select the protocol. Again, the protocol, the unit comes with standard protocol of I2C, SPI, UART, CAN, LEAN, and those three are optional. Flexray, CAN, FD, and I2S. This is the audio. Uh, and then from here, you can set up all uh, bunch of um, of, uh, of uh, the trigger uh, of the trigger as you can see the display is really fast so actually you almost forget to use the button over here uh, so yeah so we have seen the vertical part the horizontal part uh, the trigger from here you can see there are some button which give you the quick access to some uh, functionality so let's check the measurement measurement you can activate measurement in the moment you activate the measurement what you have typically the unit by default will offer you all kind of measurement so this is all measurement you can see but you can also go to custom custom by the measurement you can select the four channel you can do measurement on the zoom you can do measurement on the math or you can do measurement on the reference. So let's stay with the channel, channel one at the moment. And then we select type. It's a sine wave, maybe what we are interested in is the peak as vertical, and we go in the horizontal, and maybe we go in frequency, all right? So at this point, if we click this button, we have here the reference. We have a four volt peak peak and 50 megahertz of bandwidth, which is what we set on. If we go back to measurement, what we can see here is we can activate statistics. Activating statistics, we have the value, the mean, minimum, maximum, standard deviation, and count. See, this is the count. But again, what we can also activate is the histogram on the measurement. So we can, have, we can activate immediately the, the statistic and the histogram. Okay, this is really interesting. This is not uh, something you can typically get on a basic scope or not even a middle range, uh, middle range scope. Uh, so this is, for example, for the measurement. If we do deactivate the measurement, another nice uh, uh, tool is the analysis like this. We activate DVN, we activate the bar, histogram, and trend. And this is based on measurement. And what we can activate is what we can activate here. So DC mean, DC RMS, AC RMS, for example, we can do it on the peak to peak. And this is really cool because at this moment we can see the bar of the peak to peak of the four volt peak to peak. We have the histogram, we have the trend, so the stability of the signal. If, for example, we want to have, uh, let's say, the trend on the peak to peak and we are not interested on the other, what we can do is, uh, if I'm not wrong, pressing this button, perfect. So we have the signal and the trend, which is recording over the time. Okay, so this is uh, another situation really interesting. So <clears throat> back to the DVN, we want to deactivate, for example, another uh, Tool. Again, always 
from analysis, we go to histogram. In the histogram, we activate, we say the source, again from channel one, type, for example, we say both, and then we select the region. So the region, you see, you activate this button and we can activate, for example, we want to check this region here. See, from here, and maybe we just want to select this part of the signals because to us, uh, give some uh, sense, some, uh, some value, some interpolation. What we can see here then, we have this bar and this bar. So we'll give you more information about, uh, about the signal. Uh, I did a couple of demonstration to uh, customer always interested on checking news on the scope and they were really fascinated about the fast and all uh, activity the unit um, actually can do. Again, uh, what we can say, oh, something which is really interesting, maybe we can switch, uh, uh, maybe what we can do here, we can switch to a square, all right? And maybe we want to say like 10 megahertz. Sorry, my cable is not, uh, it's not the best cable here. Uh, so for example, what we want to say, another thing is about uh, the uh, FFT. And the FFT is interesting because it is based on uh, two mega points instead of uh, one million points and from here you can see some uh, uh, frequency the domain on the frequency of the of our signal uh, so let's go back to our sine wave we can deactivate the math so as you can see so far the unit is very very smooth what else? For example, we can go to the decode. Uh, actually, today I do not have any source of decode. I'm sorry for that. I have no uh, anything special. But uh, from here, what you can say, you can decode. You have two decode possible together. And what you can decode is square C, SPI, word can, blah, blah, blah. So let's take, for example, uh, an SPI. What is interesting here from the signal, you can set uh, the, the clock the MISO, the threshold, the MOSI, and, and so on. Uh, and this is really easy. I mean, this is really easy to set up. Uh, and what you can do also, uh, yeah, from the decode, bus config. Okay, from here you can do this. Okay, you can get also the decode on the digital channel and on the digital channel you can set other points because you have a 16, uh, 16 channel. So you, we can deactivate the decode. So what else for now? What else? Let me see what I can say. For example, cursor. Uh, cursor again, we can get a manual cursor or track. Uh, you can see manual cursor, they go. One, one to the other, track, they move uh, following the information, the information, and uh, you can say, you can set the source, so channel, math, and also reference. Delay and position. So let me say, for example, uh, I want to do a, uh, oh, something I didn't show you. For example, let's let's uh, shoot off this. For example, you want to do a measurement. At this moment, we are doing the measurement. Uh, forget about the cursor for a second. We are doing the measurement on the full memory of the unit. But let's say we are also interested on a portion of the signal. So what we have to do is we go to gate, activate the gate. And then we can move, uh, we can move uh, 
the gate. Let's see if I can also move the gate in this way. Yeah, as you can see, it's really, really easy. Okay, so I can, at this point, I'm making this measurement within this area. Another thing I was forgetting, but is really also is really interesting. We deactivate this, and from the trigger, from the trigger, as we can see, as I said before, you have different trigger, but there is also this zone trigger, and you have two zone. And the trigger is if I activate zone one, what I can say is, see, I can design. And I say zone one must intersect. And now the unit is waiting until something will happen in this specific area. In fact, if I do this, I expect it will always trigger. Yes, in fact. In fact, now if I go to change the, the setup of this zone, instead of saying intersect, I will say not intersect. It will wait. See, yeah, the zone trigger is really, really interesting because, for example, if you want to catch signal, which is uh, happening random, I mean, this is the way you will be able to catch it and stop it and then doing proper measurement. So what else? So far is, uh, yeah, there is, the unit really is really, really interesting. The price performance is uh, unbelievable. At this point, we are already a 16 minute raw video. I think that for this time is everything. Probably I will come back uh, on a video based on um, the decoding. But again, uh, for today is everything. It's the first time I, I could shoot this video. Thank you very much for watching and please uh, consider to give that a, a thumb up. It really helped me also when I'm a little bit sick. And uh, yeah, from uh, now on, the unit is already available on the Butterfly website. The link is in the description. In case you are interested, please contact us and we will assist you with the best quote and uh, some advice. So for uh, now is everything. Thank you very much. By the way, on the link in the description, you can already download the datasheet user manual, programming manual. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. See you next time. By the way, don't forget to subscribe and to share the video with your friends. Ciao.